Hello and welcome to our channel. So today we will use wait until a condition met in Dynamic 365 CE using Power Automate Flow. So this is a scenario. We have a entity name as customer contact and if a user uh, try to create new record as you can see that this is a file types of uh, column and it's disabled because uh, when this file of uh, uh, column is enabled when a record getting saved. So for that I will save a record and if I save it as you can see now user could able to uh, uh, select a file and save it here and I want this file to be used in further more actions that I want to take with this file so for that i will create a power automate flow and in that flow i will use wait until this uh, wait until the user upload that file here so this is a solution and here i will i would add a power automate flow we will give it a name here And the trigger would be when a record is added click on create so now we will select change type as added and table name that we have created customer contracts scope would be organization you could select if you want to make any changes here so now we will add next action which would initialize a variable give name as file available and value would give it as false then we would add our condition which is do until because as we know uh, that whenever this row would be added there will be no value in file label column document column which is that right now so now we'll add control go to control click on do until so the choose value is five available and is equal to true so this loop will go on on and on since uh, till this file available would have any value so here now what we want we want to add a delay action here because we don't want this loop going on and on so we want delay for one minute so this would give a user to some space when he's going to you know upload any document there one minute would be good and then we would add a get a row by id we would, we are going to get this same record because uh, when we create this record then there will be no file available at that uh, file column but after this will be become true then the file would be there so that's what why that's why we are going to add get a row by id we will get that same record so table that would be the same and row id we would select from the trigger point here and then we will add new next condition here and our condition would be when this contract record contract document is not equal to null it's not equal to null then in the yes branch we would set the variable that we have created here we will use this variable action file available to true and now what next we could do we could uh, use that whenever we get the file then this loop would be end and then what we want we want that file to be downloaded for that i'm going to use download a file or an image this section here table would be the same row id would be the same and column name we would select contract tech document here 
so this will do but uh, uh, the question may arise that what, what where we could use this so for that what we can do we could send this file to the owner of that record for that what we can do we could add one more action here the name as get a record so we we'll get the record of the owner so the owner table is name as users and row id we would select as the owners i owners value like this so now we have it uh, what we can do we can initialize a variable so we could use uh, the email id of our owner that would be string primary email here so now what we can do here we could send an email to the user this section so here from in the two we could select email id and the subject should be And body would we would we could use this uh, image or this file here. So for that we would have it in in a variable. So here we could use this, and also here we could use our. And then we could add our file here so now we could test it click on save before saving it we could also do one thing we should rename it that would be best practice whenever we create any flow the warning is, is coming out you could uh, just ignore it and now our flow has been saved now we'll test it we will test it manually click on test so now for the testing we will create come here on our entity click on new and give it a contract title name is test one we would select a customer from lookup let's say alex baker contract amount should be something like that effective date would be from today contract type would be annually and then we now as you can see that we cannot select any record here because this record hasn't been created yet now user will click on save now as you can see that now user can able to uh, select any record here but as soon as uh, whenever we create it it doesn't have containing this kind of any file here so now we will go back to our power automate flow to see that is how it's running so now the flow are running is running now its flow is in do until loop so now it has completed one time now we could uh, use a stopwatch here So now we will check it after three minutes that our flow should be run three times and then we will attach a file there and we should see that the flow has run further. As you can see it is, it is still in loop. It hasn't go down here because it is checking that uh, there is no file available. user hasn't uploaded any file here. As soon as the user will upload the file here. So when the one minute will complete and then this flow will start running again. Now I think it's time, it's three, three minutes have been completed. Now we are going to attach a document here. This attachment document is here, I think that's enough. Select open, so it's selected. Now, uh, now this record has this contract document here. Now we will go back and uh, when this loop will complete, so next uh, in upcoming minute, it will run further. Now you will see that. Yes, as you can see, that flow has run successfully. It has run three times. After the third attempt, uh, it got uh, the desired condition that uh, there was a file there uh, this was the first time and if i if we go in the last so we could see set rate value will be true and then here also uh, file we have here and the send email also have worked. 
so we will uh, review our code once more so this has been this flow has triggered when the customer contact has been added we then get the id of user for further uh, action in the email id we are taking that uh, user uh, primary email we set the file availability initialize this variable use the do until loop and check file availability is equal to true then we use delay for one minute and then get arrow by id we use customer contract the same this one and then added a condition here that our contract uh, document is not equal to null when it's not equal to null then setting the variable file availability is true and then downloading the file here initialize variable for this file here and then storing this file variable file value here and then sending it in the email so that's it from this video guys thank you like and subscribe